Hello, I'm uh, taking a video of my 2006 Exus Sport 4 horse with living quarters. I've previously um, filmed the exterior and now I'm going to the interior. We'll start with the living quarters. I've got the front porch light on for you. Home is where I roam. I'll open this door up. You can see the screen. Screen door. Curtain for privacy. A small step. Previous owner removed the slide-in step that would have been located underneath. It could be um, replaced if you wanted to, but there is a small step here. I'll show you how to fold it up when we come out. This is from the outside looking in. We've got a bathroom on the left, the gaucho fold-down bed ahead, and the kitchenette and main bed over the gooseneck to the right. All right, as so we're coming in, Find the the breaker box in the bottom. There's my finger and the radio. We've got all of the switches here, just inside the door for all the lights, the thermostat, the water heater, and the slide out. I've installed a nice window on the uh, mirror on the wall. This is the door into the bathroom. There is an actual door, a hard door with a handle on it that can be um, put back into this opening. However, when the door is installed and the slide out, this slide out is in, it covers up approximately that much of the door and you can't open the hard door once that slide out is in. So I've taken the door off, although I do have it, it will convey with the trailer, and I've replaced it with this privacy curtain, which I found sufficient. We don't actually use the toilet and I use the shower as an extra closet because we have four of us showing six different disciplines. So I needed the extra apparel room. But as we go into the bathroom, you'll see you got the potty on your right. And you've got two closets. Got another little mirror here on the wall. It is antique, but it rides well. We've got our door into the horse box straight ahead we've got a full shower standing shower it does have a handy fan in the vent above the shower however the blades have broken off you can see it does work though but it also needs new blades poor little fan that's the shower and beside the shower is another large garment closet it's got the rack for your hangers. It's fairly long. We've got fans at the bottom for the heat and the AC. And now we're in the bathroom looking towards the front of the trailer. There's the bed area and the kitchenette. This is the gaucho style bed in the slide out. You've got two cabinets for storage above. Currently I have a mattress pad on there so that when we lay the gaucho down, you put that little pad above it. When you remove the leather armrests, you lift up on the bottom here 
and pull and it lays down and I'll back up so you can see that it's the width of a twin if not just a little bit wider this way but it's a little bit shorter this way all right and to put it up I just lift on the bottom again push the back up and I put my armrests back all right there's two cabinets underneath underneath here I have more storage I've got the pull for the awning I've got the base for the removable table those are the little legs it stands on the table sits right here or anywhere you want it in the trailer I don't have any pictures of it and I have it in storage right now but I can get it later there's a little grill in here got an extra hubcap there's some extra LED lights that will come with it this cowhide will not but the grill and the extra trailer components will okay Come around to the bed in the bed area this is a full-size mattress topper so you can see that it fits well lengthwise from the front of the trailer to the end here but it does leave room on the sides so if a person wanted to you could probably fit a queen size short RV mattress in here you've got your cabinets at the front and your star lights Got more storage here with a bar for more apparel it's pretty deep I can't really see in there but it is a good size cabinet so we pan around you got more privacy screens you got a television this television I think I have it secured right now when it's unsecured can pop all the way out and be seen from the couch in the living area okay and pop that back in all right and what we have left here is the kitchenette I'm sitting on the gaucho looking at the kitchenette we've got another cabinet here the microwave the range hood with a fan and the light We've got the range under this cover I'll show you sink furnace another uh, small cabinet down here and your refrigerator to the side you'll see we've got the um, I think it's the fire extinguisher and the very edge the um, the LP indicator All right, so I'll open this cabinet for you. I got cleaning supplies in there. Open the microwave, nice size microwave. The fan going. I think I've got a bulb out. Oh no, there's the light. All right, and the stove. Finally, the fridge. I don't know the cubic um, size of the fridge, but standard little fridge. Okay. And with that, I think we'll walk through the. Let me put my shoes on. We'll walk through the pass through door into the horse box so you come into the horse box you see the escape door here it's got a padded padded strap at the chest we got our stud panel on our first stall all the way down to the ground We 
we've got slam latches. They're easy to open from any side. If I come back and look towards the back of the trailer, you can see the wall and the ceiling. Back around to the front. All right, let me open each of these slam latches. Now the trailer's wide open. I'm standing in the front looking back. Only discrepancy I'm aware of in this horse trailer is a small, you're not going to be able to see it, but see I got some tape here. There's a small hole in the rubber at the base of this wall right here. And I just put some tape over it to keep it from getting worse. But um, where the horse's back feet step on it, there's a, a small section where they've pulled the rubber off the wall. You could repair it, you could leave it, it's not a big deal. I just didn't want shavings to get up in there. So I covered it up. You can see the whole length of the wall here. All right, again, you got another padded, padded latch in the rear. Okay, now I'm going to go from the back forward. So now I'm standing in the back corner, and I've got the tack here. It is a collapsible tack. The center bar does come out. It completely comes out. And I know this because unfortunately we loaded a horse in this rear stall with three other horses in front of him and realized when we got to our destination that he would not back off the trailer. And as a result, we were forced to remove the entire rear tack so that he could turn around and walk off forward, which is what he preferred. So the saddle racks come out, this wall folds up, and the center bar is removable. Mom. Just a minute, bud. I've seen one of these and throw it away. Come up to the ceiling. You can see the vents. And that's about all I have to show you about this trailer. There's a little punk in the front stall waiting for me. So I'll let you go now.